spin. Your... A new car. Yeah. <laughs> That's how. That's how. Okay, you Very good. Our, okay. Nice. Congrats. Good day, everyone. Today we are celebrating Karatapi Sarong 2024, the Malaysia Day celebration. It's actually two days early this year. Um, it's the annual celebration to unify everyone and celebrate Malaysian culture. So it should be interesting. First one. Um, the idea here is to take the train to Merdeka Square, where normally I would just walk, but uh, part of the celebration is to take the train and um, yeah, see some very cool outfits, cool clothing, uh, costumes, traditional costumes, and just, yeah, cool clothing in general. So let's see, uh, I'm very curious. I watched some videos from last year and I thought it looked cool. It looked a little bit crazy actually, like very busy, uh, slam packed. So, I mean, right now it's, it's already after 4 p.m. So I'm like way, way late to the uh, party. I believe these celebrations are kind of from morning until 6 p.m. Uh, I'm sure people continue to celebrate after, but like in Merdeka Square, you know, I think that's when they end the festivities. Uh, but I did see yesterday, I was actually over there and they were setting up all kinds of uh, like music stage, like uh, tons of tents, stalls, you know? So I'm very curious to see what it looks like now. Should be going over there right in the middle of um, the craziness. So yeah, let's see. So it's just a few stops from here, not too far. I'm in Chow Kit. And I'm going to go to Masji Jamek stop uh, on the orange train line. So here we are. Perfect timing, folks. Gotta love it when you walk up the stairs and the train is just arriving, right? Perfect. Uh, it's quite empty at this moment. Um, you know, it might be the time. Like I said, it's toward the evening time now, or it could be um, because of my location. You know, because I'm in Chow Kit, but not sure. I'm sure when we get to Merdeka Square, it will be quite busy. We made it to Mashi Jamek, so not too far now from the uh, Merdeka Square, Dataran Merdeka. Uh, I'm no stranger to this area. Hold on, I actually have to get my my little token out of my pocket here. This thing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I stay in this area quite a lot, uh, or at least I have. Um, there's a few hotels over here that I, I've stayed at and I really enjoy. Uh, what are they called? What are they called? There's the Lotus Hotel. That's a good one for budget. If you're on a budget, um, like solid spots, you know, $20 or less per night. And then there's the Big M, uh, another one I like to stay at as well. Um, yeah, cool hotels. Uh, but right now I'm in Chow Kit in a condo. But here we are. Yeah, I like this area. It's, uh, it's lively, a lot of food around. Um, it gets a little bit sketchy, I would say, at uh, nighttime. Definitely gets sketchy, you know, especially really late, four in the morning and stuff. Uh, yeah, when you walk anywhere toward Chinatown, into Chinatown, yeah, I mean, a lot of homeless, you'll see a lot of strange things so if you're not okay with that i would avoid this area uh, or at least avoid going out really late at night in the area but for me it, it's really fine uh, i like this area you can see i mean you can't really see but there's the uh it's a mosque right over there it's a cool area cool architecture you know you have the merdeka square like very close by sometimes i'll go film a video over there one thing I need to remember now that I have the microphone, I can actually, I can keep the, the camera much further away from me if I want to. Because I don't have to worry about the, uh, the microphone being like right in my mouth. <laughs> That's a plus, you know, I forgot about that. I can show more of the background. That's the only reason I keep it so close to my face typically is, yeah, keeping the microphone on my iPhone pretty close. And so, yeah, so this, across the street, Merdeka Plaza. Very good, very good. 
still looks really deserted out here. Like, it's just absolutely, I don't know, it's really, really, really quiet. Uh, it's also a Saturday. It's not even that hot outside. You know, the sun is not really strong today. And to my understanding, it's a big holiday. But we'll see, once we, once we enter the square, I'm assuming everyone is there, right? That's why it's dead over here, because everyone is over there, right? I think so, let's see. Hmm, can we cross? Yeah, we got this. We stand in the middle here. This is always a not so ideal intersection, I would say. Best way I can put it. Um, tough to cross. And uh, yeah, a lot of cars coming, so I'll be uh, chilling here for a moment. It looks pretty festive. Looks like you can see some street food and stuff set up already. This stuff is not usually set up here, so I don't hear like loud music or anything, but who knows? Who knows, right? I actually don't have any expectations. I, you know, this is completely out of my wheelhouse, considering I'm an American here in the country uh, celebrating for the first time. Um, and it's also two days before actual Malaysia Day, which is not usually the case. Uh, they actually did that this year out of like respect. Uh, someone died, excuse my ignorance, I actually just forget. So, someone died on this day, I believe, and so for respect purposes, they decided to make it two days early. Um, but I don't think that would affect, you know, people celebrating it or anything like that. Uh, but like I said, this intersection. We finally got a, a moment here. All right. Yeah, I won't be able to sample any of these delicacies. Corn dogs, very American. Can't sample the delicacies, but I can enjoy the atmosphere. That's kind of what I'm here for. Uh, also here to film, but I thought about just coming over here and not filming. I actually really didn't want to film today because uh, I spent all day today editing that interview video, which I just uploaded and um, yeah, just like doing errands. And so finally I have a moment, but it's time to film again. <laughs> then I have to go home and, and edit this vlog. But it's okay, it's part of the job, right? But I really wanted to just like come out here and um, enjoy, just celebrate. No camera, nothing like that. But uh, yeah, for you guys, I decided, you know what, it's a special day. You know, I had many people in the comments tell me about it, and that's the reason that I even really knew about it. Um, so yeah, it's only right that I film it for the channel. Um, we got some spring rolls here, shrimp, I am. Believe me, I, I wish I could try food and drinks uh, for everyone on the channel, you know, do food reviews. Everyone says to do food, right? But I just can't, I can't. And there's many, many channels already doing food, so. If you do want a food channel, you know, they're out there. So I decided I have to do something different. I need to make my channel something else since my body doesn't allow me to eat those things. But that's fine. You know, that's just how it goes. Uh, we don't need another food channel anyways. We don't need it. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna tell myself. Uh, we even have like warung set up here. Oh yeah, this is, a, this is a whole vibe out here. This is cool. See, now we can hear it. I'm surprised we couldn't hear anything from like across the street back there. And now it's just like, it sounds like an absolute party. <laughs> What's that say? Nisam Tara, fun run. Hmm. Little live music here. Dropped them a little donation. Let's see, I think I have some cash here. I don't want to leave them 50. One ring it. I feel cheap, but it's something, right? Um, let's see here. Get some advertisements. You need your amino acids? 3,000 milligrams. Three grams of amino acids. Hey, what's up? Yes, music class. Ah, yeah. Yes, alright. Okay. Seems he wants donations for the music. Um, I don't know if he's associated with them. Hopefully. <laughs> But I'm not sure. What is this? Smart umami wheels. What's that? 
Interesting. What's this? Hi. Right. You can keep the game and then get all three gifts. It's a game? Yes. Okay, interesting. What kind of game? Uh, it's a memory game. Memory uh, game. So we'll just show you how to play it. My memory is not good. Uh, that's why it's a very easy one. Alright, let's see. Caution, high sodium intake. Interesting. <laughs> oh, smart salt. So it's less sodium salt. That's interesting. I mean, there's so much salt in the food here. That could be that could be a good thing for the market, right? I think it was just uh, said like it's a half a teaspoon of MSG and a half teaspoon of salt, something like that. That's a mix. Well, it's MSG, so I don't know how healthy it is. Hmm. Hey. Hi, okay. Hey. Uh, so just type in your email and your name. If I have to, I must. Yes, you must. <laughs> okay, all right. So this is a game where you uh, memorize, uh, memorize, uh, you memorize. only need uh, three seconds and then uh, the game starts. Okay, so it will pop up, I need to remember? Yes. Okay. And then match them. All right. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, ready. Okay. All right. Ah, okay. I see. I see. No. <laughs> okay, congrats. Got it. <laughs> so, uh, 16. 16. That is Ooh, your time. Okay. Not great. Who's, who's in the lead right now? You have a leaderboard? Um, I'm not sure, but... <laughs> okay. I, all right, let's try. Well, I'll go one more time. I got. I got to. I got to try to beat okay, that score at least. Right, that was. Right. That's crap. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Let's go. Mm. Okay. All right. Boom! 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 No! <laughs> I suck. Oh no. man. Oh my god. <laughs> now I just forget completely. All right. Okay. Boom! Boom! Boom, boom. Okay. Nice. <laughs> nice. Even worse now. <laughs> Not good. Not good. Oh, okay, man. Okay, good game. Okay, so uh, there you go. You got a coin. Coin. You need to uh, sleep in Cash there. Cash upon. Okay, yes, sleep all right. Sleep in there and then just spin it. Okay, all right. Let's see. Spin? Yes. Okay, let's go. Let's go. It's that's your... A new car! Yeah. <laughs> That's how. That's how, okay. You Very good. Okay. Nice. Congrats. Cool. Wait a second. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I want a brand new Tesla. So here, here you go. Cool. You're Thank you, brother. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So this is a like a brand of salt with yeah. less sodium. Yep. Less sodium. That's cool. So it's MSG and salt? I, MSG and salt. Yeah. Okay, cool. Aji no moto? Aji no moto. Okay, yes. cool, man. Thank you. Okay. What's your Thank name? Thank you. Paris. Paris. Ben. Paris. Feliz. Faiz. Faiz. Yes. Okay, Ben. Ben. ben okay. Yeah. Good nice to meet you, bro. You. See you. Okay, see you. Bye. <laughs> oh, nice little carnival game to start things off with my my weakest trait. Thank you. My weakest trait, which is my memory. Now I have this towel. Let's see. Hopefully, I can just fit it in my. Uh... Oh wait, what am I? I literally have a, a tote bag, and I'm like, where am I going to put this towel? Unbelievable. All right. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, this is where I was yesterday. I saw all these tents being set up, but there was, you know, no signs or shops yet. Uh, but now everything is set up. It looks like there's a wheel. It looks like there's all kinds of games, you know. A lot of these companies want to promote their product and they're, they want to gamify it a little bit. Which is smart. Smart. Hi. Red Bull. Not for me. Free Red Bull. Come out here, get your caffeine. We even got gyms out here promoting. A little bit of everything here. What's this? See, we got more games. Interesting. That could be fun. Shooting like a rubber band thing. That could be fun. Cellcom Digi. That's my. Uh, that's my company. No, thank you, bro. Cannot. Cannot. Okay, then it kind of transitions into more like handcrafted goods, let's say. Clothing, goods, physical products. Let's see what they have here. Some traditional clothing. 
Shut up. You look good, it says. Okay. Spicy carbonara, some pasta, jewelry, Sarawak beads, perfume. Oh, what's this? Wrestling cage? Are they fighting? What's this? Oh, no. Nothing like that. I mean, it was children. I hope they're not fighting. But. <laughs> Spinning some sort of top. Let's see, I'm gonna wait for them to uh I'm gonna wait for them to go. Ready? Got this fence in the way. Let's see, let's see. Oh. Oh, wow. Good thing that fence is here. Wow. Oh. This is different. Can't say I've ever seen this. Reminds me of Beyblades. Anyone remember Beyblade? Very good. Wow, it looks serious. Doesn't look like something you can just jump in and, uh, and participate in. <laughs> it seems like something they practiced. Like yo-yoing or, or, you know, something you would just, you can't just dive in and be any good. Uh, wow, that, that looks good. Oh my God, that looks good. Hi. Not today, it looks so good though. Wow. Wow, Tiger Lily Bake. Some soy desserts here. Wow, those cookies looked unbelievable. <laughs> I could polish off a dozen of those pretty easily if I, I really wanted to. Um, yeah, we got fresh fruit. It smells like durian out here. Love me some durian. Hotel Seri Malaysia, okay. All right, let's go this way. Oh, they got some massage. Ooh, not bad. I wonder how much that costs. 30 minute massage, 25 ring it, 20 ring it. That could be cool. No, I, I uh, not in really a position to buy massages. Last time I got a massage was in Thailand. Probably, I don't know, it's been a while, two months, something like that. Every time I go to Thailand, I get three, four massages while I'm there for sure. It's just a lot cheaper, let's say that. One hour, $5, $6. So it'd be like one hour for 25 ring it. You're not gonna find that uh, here. Usually it's gonna be more like 50, 60, 70 ringgit for one hour, depending on where you go. Hmm. JK Performance Studio. Let's see, it's gotta be somewhere we can get a little bit better of a view. A lot of people here. Okay, semua pujo yang ada kat luar, cuba masuk. Ramai-ramai masuk dalam jemaah. Ramai-ramai masuk dalam jemaah, tak apa. Tak jadi masalah, jemaah besar tak. <laughs> Alright, kema besar, jom ramai-ramai masuk di dalam kema Sementara kita menantikan music latar untuk disambungkan di teknikal Alright, oh, jumpa, ramai-ramai masuk ke dalam People are moving up a little bit Let's see, try and move up a little Alright, berikan tumpukan ke mulut untuk rakan-rakan kita daripada Singapura Iaitu silat benderang persada Singapura yang akan menunjukkan seni silat tadi
cool. Very cool. Very karate kid. Mr. Miyagi. Are they setting up to do like a, a night performance over here or did, did they actually already do it? I mean, at this point it's like 440. So yeah, I'm not really sure. Uh, seven to 11. No way, that means seven in the morning. No, maybe, maybe. Oh, look at this setup, huge setup. It's like a, a whole festival. I mean, now they must be still planning to do some, uh, some festivities here, some live performances. Look how big this is. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Not for sure, but I think so. Hmm. Let me ask somebody. Hey, did, did they already do music here or not yet? They do tonight? Uh, I don't think it's... No? Okay, okay. All right, thanks. Hmm. Let me ask this guy. This guy seems to be working here. Excuse me, bro. Uh, did they already finish music or tonight? Tonight, it's tonight. Tonight, right? Tonight. What time? Oh, eight. Okay, cool. Come, come enjoy. Yeah, yeah, cool. Thank show. you. I was hoping it didn't finish already. No, good. No, no, it's today. Very good. Thank you. Cool. Eight o'clock p.m. So, wow, okay. That's what I thought. I assumed that this would be a, a long thing into the night. And then I read a bit online and it was like, yeah, festivities till around 6 p.m. And so that threw me off. I was like, oh, wow, it's a, I guess it's a daytime thing, but no, 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 no. Maybe the food stalls, but you would think the food's going to be open tonight too, right? Of course. Who knows? Maybe I read some um, bad information. I was also reading about last year. I, I believe I was reading last year's uh, festivities. So, you know, I don't know. Who cares, right? We're, we're here and he told me 8 p.m. Um, I don't know that I can stick around for, you know, several hours like that, but could definitely go home and come back. That's what I would do. Oh, we got some squid. That looks good. Very good. Mushroom chicken carbonara, crispy beef bolognese. Oh, come on, folks, come on. What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me, Malaysia? Fresh mango. You can smell the fresh mango from the distance, which is just crazy. Oh my. Burgers. Thank God I ate before I came. I like, I stuffed myself. I cooked, stuffed myself full of healthy food, some fresh meats, and um, still, still, the aroma, it's getting me good. Oh, what's this? Fruits, candy. It's one of those uh, extremely colorful stalls. They're kind of just like, what is the most colorful things that we can put here? contrast each thing to the next <laughs> and they did a good job at it i'll say that they made it to the end that's good nice <laughs> let's see what's on the other side too ah okay so it's gonna get lively tonight that's what i feel like when the music is cranked and they're you know playing live music on a stage like that people are going to be lively it doesn't matter if people are drinking or not you know majority of people are not drinking alcohol here so people will just kind of be drunk on the good energy uh, it's kind of what what goes on i'm sure some people will be drinking um but that's not really what it's about not at all more a cultural celebration right see it's getting quite busy it's all it's it's definitely picking up i mean as we get to dinner time now we are into dinner time um you know i'm sure a lot of people did the opposite of me. I'm sure they saved their appetite <laughs> to come here. And I, you know, used my entire appetite before I came here. Some very fresh looking seafood. Hmm. Oysters. Could eat some raw oysters. Let's see, what are, they, what are they charging for these puppies? Five pieces, 25 ringgit? That's not bad. Hmm, that's not bad. Oh, 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 oh. What's that? What is that? Amazing. Oh my god. My god. <laughs> Godfather. I've seen that place a few times. I feel like there's another one down there. Got laksa. 
You got everything. You literally have everything here that you could ever want. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, snacks. Oh, yes, uh, crepes, tiramisu, desserts. A lot of desserts, a lot of sweets. Malaysians love their sweets, right? I mean, everybody, <laughs> I think, likes sweets. I think biologically we're programmed to enjoy sweets. <laughs> uh, everyone in a great mood, that's a plus. Everyone very, very smiley. Gangnam toast. Got that Korean hitter right there. Enoki mushrooms. Wow, got a little of everything, folks. Pavlova. <laughs> Some of the stuff just looks like an absolute dessert bomb. <laughs> oh man, lovely, wonderful. Let's pop into the, to the square real quick. Let's see, because it looks like they have some stuff set up inside here as well, or on the other side even. Yeah, I can see stuff on the other side over there, lined in over there. So let's let's pop over there and see it as well. Back there, maybe some things. A lot of people now. It's getting a little bit harder to to vlog. I got to be very cautious with my camera. Don't uh, stick anyone in the face, right? That would be bad. I do recall the last time um, I went to Indonesia, I went into like a beach club and I was trying to make a vlog and they were like, no, no, no like selfie sticks, you know, no long selfie sticks, no extendable selfie sticks. And they, would, they took it at the door. And I was like, why would they do that? That doesn't make any sense. But then you go out into like a, a crowded public place and you start vlogging and you realize, oh wow, yeah, that could be, that could be dangerous, that could be problematic. Um, especially like in the pool, you know, people are drinking. Uh, it's super crowded, there's a dance floor, like, I don't know, selfie stick. Yeah, it's kind of up to the, the vlogger not to, to harm somebody at that point, not to, you know, that could be a problem. But yeah, <laughs> no instances so far, so, so far so good. A couple more spots here which just look, maybe like some like chill out spots, right? Let's see, I believe I would just go here to get to those other tents, but I'm almost thinking that it's not correct. Um, I have no clue. Can I just walk in the grass? I'm gonna walk in the grass because I see other people doing it. I mean, they're all staff, actually, but. Um, yeah, let's just go. Let's just go, right? I don't know what this is. Some kind of game? Mini, mini, Field, football field. This as well looks like for some like games or for like a queue to create a big queue. <laughs> Either a maze or a queue. What is it, folks? Uh, oh, looks like they're still piecing this thing together. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Hey, what is, what is this? What is this? This is actually for competition between government agencies. Oh, to wow. compete in the traditional game. Government agency competition. Uh, yes. Tonight? I know, uh, already. Already? In the morning. Ah, okay, uh, I missed it. Who won? Who's the winner? I, I was. Yeah? Uh, Very good. Uh, Very good, man. <laughs> cool. Thank you, brother. Okay. Wow, government agencies battling, duking it out on the field. I love it. <laughs> Oh, you would never see that in America. <laughs> I don't think so. FBI versus CIA uh, field games. I don't know. Haven't seen it. <laughs> but yeah, already happened. Hmm. Look at this. Wow. That's cool. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, so it's an all day and night festivity over here. You know, they started early. Oh, we got some kids doing archery over here too. It's all kids. Me roll up there, grown man. I don't care, it looks fun. 
Like this. I don't know if they're um, competing. Mm. Nice. Practicing, um, you know, in the range so they can uh, hit those animals when they're out in the, the wild, right? Nice. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, look at this. It's set up for like a whole, a whole set of field games. That's cool. Closest thing that I've ever had to that was we had field day in um, like grade school, elementary school, you know, grade one through grade five, every year, field day. Uh, and I was a real chubby kid, you know, 150 kilos, 150 kg. So I didn't like that day. I didn't like gym class. I didn't like that day. And uh, yeah, we had to go out there on the field and that was the whole day. Now, the plus was there was no class, there was no school. So it was like kind of a, a good and a bad, you know? Yeah, we don't got to go to class today, but I got to make a fool of myself on the field. And uh, needless to say, I never did too well, never did too well. Uh, I believe one year I, we won. I believe I was carried by my team. <laughs> but this, this definitely reminds me of that. It's got field day vibes. Cool, Olive House. Yeah, maybe I'll come back over here later on. I, I really would like to get back over here because I, I feel like it's going to be a, a real party. Um, maybe I'll throw that in the same vlog. We'll see. Um, yeah, we'll see. Make sure you subscribe. Drop a thumbs up if you're liking this. Uh, dropped a video today, uh, interviewing, first interview in the interview series. Great video. Really happy with how that came out. So go check that out if you didn't see it yet. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll throw that in the vlog later. But if not, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Let's see, right? Who knows?